Hello friends, today we are going to install D-Link Eagle Pro series model R03 router as an access point, as an AP. Now in my scenario, I already have DIR615 as my main router and uh, that is my primary router, okay. Uh, internet is working through it, it is already configured. Now I want to extend the internet from the DIR615 and connect to D-Link R03 using a LAN cable. Okay, so that is how we are going to install R03 as an access point. All right, so let us see how we are going to do it. Firstly, we have to connect D-Link R03 router using a LAN cable to your system. Okay, uh, you can connect with the, using a LAN cable or you can connect with the Wi-Fi as well. The Wi-Fi name and a password is written at the bottom side of the router. Okay, so once you connect to it, you need to open up browser and you need to enter the IP which is 192.168.0.1 in the browser in the address bar. So once you enter, you can click on, uh, once you enter the IP address in the browser, you can press enter, you will get the admin page of the router. So now admin password is written at the bottom side of the router. So you need to check it and you need to enter it. Once you enter it, click on login. Once you log in, you will get the terms of use and privacy policy. You can click on agree and click on next. Now in access point mode, now let us understand one thing that these routers doesn't have an access point mode by default. Okay. We need to configure it manually. Okay. So you need to select router mode over here and then click on next. Click on next. Click on I understand. Click on DHCP and then click on next. You can change the Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password if you want. That is fine. I'm just keeping as it is. Click on next again. I'm changing the admin password. Admin123. Click next and then click on next. This will be the summary. You can click on next. Just wait for some time. Let the settings save properly. So, when we are configuring the router in access point mode, for start, you need to just configure this as a normal router in a dynamic, in a DHCP connection. Once you configure that, once you bypass that settings, after that we need to change some settings in the router. Okay. So, I will show you how to do that. Now in this scenario, since I have DIR615 as my main router, the IP address of the DIR615 is 192.168.0.1. Okay. Now, R03, since it is dealing, that also has the same IP address, which is 192.168.0.1. Okay. So what we need to do is, after changing the settings, we need to change the IP address of the router as well. All right. So we will see, we'll, I'll, go, uh, I'll show you how to do that so that you can understand it better. And since these are Eagle Pro series router, you can also access the router's configuration page using the host name. Now host name is written at the bottom side of the router. Okay. All right. So once this is done, you log into it. I'm set. Uh, I have I have set the uh, password as admin one two three. So once you log in, once you log in, you need to click on settings. 
you need to click on operation mode and then you need to click on this router mode and select extender mode okay settings operation mode ex uh, this operation mode you need to select as extender mode click on apply just wait for some time you might have seen in the previous routers older routers usually what we do is change the ssid and the password then change the uh, ip address and then disable the dhcp on the router and then uh, we connect from lan to lan so the cable from the uh, the backend cable uh, that will be connected to the lan port of the dlink router that was the previous settings what we used to do on the previous routers older routers now since these routers are uh, eagle pro series router they are ar routers so uh, we did not do uh, those things we just have to enable and disable some settings on the router and the router will automatically take care of the other settings okay All right. So once this is done, you can log in again. So once you log in, you need to click on settings. Again, you will see an extender option here. Okay, settings and then extender. Click on it. Here you will have two options. See, you have an existing network option here. You need to select. wire or ethernet in the existing network okay so once you select ethernet you can change the ssid and the password whichever you want no issues with that and then click on save right so yes so once you click on it so we have configured this router now as an access point now what we have to do is we have to take the cable from your main routers now in my scenario it is a dir615 so i am taking a cable from any one of the lan port of the dir615 and connecting that cable 
to any one of the LAN port on the R03. So I am connecting the cable now from 615 LAN 4 to R03's LAN 4. Okay. So the connection has to be LAN to LAN. So from the primary router's LAN port to the secondary router's LAN port. So it has, it has to be LAN to LAN. Okay. So once the LAN is connected, you should see a LED on the internet port of the router and then you can check the status now existing network connected that means there is an uplink router which is connected at the back side of the R03 which means R03 is now working as an access point okay now if you want to check what is the IP address it's received by the DIR615 so you can click on network Click on advance and here you can check what is the IP address it's received. So again you can click on static IP, you can keep the same IP address of the router and then click on save. Okay. Till then it will work on the host name. So this is the host name. Okay, we are doing the setting using the host name. That's because there is no IP address it's, uh, it's given since the the router is configured as an access point. It is it is working as an access point so it will not give its own IP address to your system. Okay, until and unless the backend cable is connected at the back side of the R03. So that is how that is what we have done. So we have configured R03 as an access point first and after that we have connected a LAN cable from my primary router to the LAN port of the R03 router. So once you connect that cable, then only the status will get connected. Okay, so slightly a different way, but it is not difficult. It is it is this this way what we have to do. All right, if you just follow the procedure, you should be able to do it properly. All right. So just wait for some time here. Let the setting save properly, and then we will check. We will check if you are able to access the main router's page. Now main router is my primary router. Uh, which is DIR615 so by default the IP address of it is 192.168.0.1 so we should be able to access the R03 using 192.168.0.189 and we, need, we, we should be able to access the primary router's login page as well okay so first we'll see using 189 Okay, so this is my R03 router and this is my main router's page which is DIR615. Okay, so both the routers are accessible and they are in the same range in the 0 dot series router uh, in the 0 dot series range and I am able to access the internet. Now if I connect to DIR615 uh, uh, also I should be able to access the internet. If I am connecting to R03, this is the default network, I have not changed that name. So if you connect it, you can check the status of the network. Yes, so IPv4 connectivity is there, that means the laptop is able to access the internet and it is connected to the R03 router, which is configured as access point. Alright, that's all for now. Thank you.